We need to get it in our hand, um, you know, and then study it and look at it. But apparently one of the prosecutors mentioned in open court um, something about, you know, when Mr. Manafort completes his cooperation. Um, and as all the media is reporting, and they're right, that's a very significant development. But again, we're going to need to, you know, look at the agreement, go through it. Um, I also wanted to say that I agree with what you guys were saying. I was listening about the dynamics of the judge and the jury pool in the new location, and I think that it was uh, a situation of, you know, minimizing damage. Very common, by the way, when somebody goes through a trial. It's hard to know what a trial is until you go through it, as dumb as that may sound. And the point is, it's not a pleasant experience. And Manafort, having gone through what he went through, uh, in my view, sought to cut his losses. But I'm not willing to jump into the cooperation area, you know, wholeheartedly until I really see what the agreement looks like. Understood. Uh, Eamon Javer is at the, at the White House today, I think, with some additional commentary. Eamon? Yeah, that's right, Carl. We've just gotten a statement now from Rudy Giuliani, the president's attorney, saying once again an investigation has concluded with a plea having nothing to do with President Trump or the Trump campaign. Giuliani going on to say the reason the president did nothing wrong, that statement is attributable to Rudy Giuliani, the counsel to the president. So uh, the important development there from the White House and the president's attorney. The White House putting out a statement from the press secretary saying something similar. In effect, that the cooperation here ultimately uh, is Paul Manafort's, but insisting that the president here did nothing wrong. So Rudy Giuliani saying uh, the president uh, did nothing wrong. This has nothing to do with President Trump or the Trump campaign. One possibility that we should point out, Carl, is that it is uh, theoretically possible that what Manafort is cooperating on does not relate to the Trump campaign uh, in 2016. It could be that he's cooperating on further uh, alleged criminal activity relating to uh, his lobbying activities or his financial activities or his offshore banking deals uh, that involve other persons but not related to the presidential campaign. That is going to be the hope, presumably, of many people close to the president. Uh, they hope that this doesn't lead into the campaign, that what Manafort's agreeing to cooperate here on uh, is stuff related to his own personal business situation that predates the president. Right. When we do get that plea agreement, we should get some sense of the scope of the agreement, what he's agreed to do and what he hasn't agreed to do. And maybe from there, we'll be able to tease out exactly what he's cooperating on. But for now, uh, no information. And we should point out that that is one of the possibilities here.